Hi, I'm Leif Peterson. Thanks for coming to watch this video about how I achieved this post process. In this video, I will explain the basic fundamentals of posterizing the scene texture so we can achieve a look like this. All right, let's get started. I'm going to open up my example post process material and we're going to change that to a post process. When you've got the right material selected, it should just say emissive color. Okay, to get started, we're going to put in a scene texture sampler. And from that, we're going to grab the color and then we're going to put down a power node and attach this power. We're going to put in a, a vector parameter and we're going to call this gamma. And let's set the default value to 0.5. Then, we're going to need a multiply node. And we're going to grab this, get a scalar parameter, which we'll call number of colors. Start off, we're going to go with 4. After multiplying, we're going to use a floor. Then we take the output of the floor, add a divide. Now we're going to plug our number of colors into the B input of the divide. And then we're going to grab another power for the exponent, only another divide. For the B value, let's plug our gamma into that. For the A on the divide, we'll need a four vector, a constant four vector, which will be set to one. And now we have the fundamental posterization effect achieved. We'll just plug that into our emissive color, and then, oh dear, I'm sorry, I mean, We'll get another vector parameter. And we'll call this one. Sorry about that. I'll need to get replace those vector parameters with constant fours. We'll set the first one to point five. Duplicate that, set it to 1, plug it into the A slot, and then plug the other one into B. And now we have a properly functioning map. Alright, let's take a look at what we've just done. I'm going to load that post process into the blendable slot. And that's basic posterization. The jitter you're seeing is because the material is not set to, I believe it's after the anti aliasing. If you get that jitter, what you're going to want to do is go into your material properties and under post-process material, put it before tone mapping. And let's save that. There we go. That's better. And so that's posterization. I'll show you how adjusting the settings a little can... a little bit more about this. Okay. So, let's say we adjust our gamma. can change the the value range that we affect by adjusting the gamma in the post process. But 
I prefer just to stick to five for the gamma value. It's what I used for the look that I achieved. You can also adjust the number of colors. If you decrease them a little bit, you get an even more graphic effect. I used a very low effect in my material, in my post process. So this is it with only two colors. And that's how I achieved the look of my post process. I hope this was a good introduction for you, and I hope that you can apply this technique to any of your projects that you might be working on. Have fun experimenting.